Hey everyone, this is Ryan with The Smart House and today we're gonna to be doing a quick tips video on how to back up your Home Assistant instance. Now, one of the biggest things when you're playing with Home Assistant, uh, one of the biggest assets you can have is a, is a good snapshot backup of your instance in case you mess something up. It's really easy to restore it back to an older version and get back on the road. Now, I recommend using the Google Backup Community plugin. Uh, it's quick and easy and it gives you that offsite backup that you need. So not only do you wanna back up on the Home Assistant instance you have using the snapshots function, you also wanna make sure you have a good solid backup offsite just in case your SD card fails. Because if it does fail and you can't recover the data, then you can't recover your snapshots. So the beauty of the Google Drive plugin is it will actually use the built-in Home Assistant snapshot function to back up your full instance. So if you're using the Home Assistant with Supervisor, it'll back up not only your Home Assistant instance, but all of your add-ons like the like SSH, Z-Wave, and other ones. So it's great to have those items backed up as well as your Home Assistant instance. Now, I typically have a Home Assistant snapshot and I have my configuration files backed up separately. So the configuration files, I store those in, GitLab, uh, I store those in GitHub, and then I have my Home Assistant configuration all together backed up on Google Drive. So that gives me some ability to recover data from both sides. So the beauty of the Google Drive backup is it uses the built-in snapshot function to make snapshots on the drive, and then it grabs them and places them up in a Google Drive that you that you already own. Uh, on average, my snapshots take around two gigabytes of storage space. So the amount that you can store in the cloud depends on how much storage space you have for Google Drive. Let's quickly jump in on how to set this easy add-on up. All right, so here we are in my test environment. Um, the first thing we need to do is go ahead and visit the link below, which is the a shortened version of the GitHub repo for Google Drive Backup. This is just a great add-on. I'm glad the author spent the time to develop this, and it's maintained pretty well as well. Um, so what we need to do, I mean, if you, again, if you need to, the instructions are right here, but I will show you how to quickly do this. I want to go ahead and copy this URL here. This is the same link as you see above to the GitHub repo. I will go into Supervisor, go to the add-on store, and then click the three dots in the corner and repositories. So we're gonna add a custom repo to this that will allow us to install that software directly. So go ahead and click close. And we'll scroll down here to the bottom and now you'll see it appear, the Home Assistant Google Drive Backup Repository. So we'll click on that and click install. It shouldn't take very long. It's not a huge application. And then we'll need to click start. This will go ahead and activate it and then you can click the open web UI button to bring up the interface. Now, of course, you're gonna need a Google account with Google Drive enabled. Uh, your backups don't take very much, so even a free account should have more than enough storage to hold a couple of backups on your system. So you wanna click authenticate with Google Drive. That's gonna pop up and ask you for any of the Google accounts you have logged in. So if your Google account does not show up on here, then you'll need to click use another account and sign in. But since I'm already signed in, I'll go ahead and click on my account here. Um, allow, which will basically allow you to access those files in, in this application, and then click send credentials. If for some reason you get an error message due to security software, you can also copy this authentication string and do it manually. But you'll see here, we've got unauthorized. So that means that it's not letting this add-on authenticate with Google Drive. So if you were able to just click the button and you should, you'll be sent back to the, the plugin. In this instance, it's not functioning for me. So I will use the backup method, which is to copy the string here. This is being blocked out because it is an authentication string that could access my personal Google Drive. So then we'll pop back into supervisor and paste that code right here under the add-on. So everything down to the double equal sign, hit save, and that's it. So since I already have an existing folder, I'm gonna tell it to go ahead and use the folder. If you have more than one Home Assistant instance, you'll wanna choose a different folder so you can back up the instances separately from each other and they don't get mixed together. But I'll just say use this folder, that way I can restore my existing backups to this location. So this is great if you wanted to set up a brand new Home Assistant instance and copy all of your data over. You can just back up your snapshot, hop into the new Home Assistant instance, install this plugin, and then download your snapshot and go from there. All right, so now that we've got the Google Drive backup add-on in installed, let's go ahead and create a snapshot now. 
This will create an entire backup of the Home Assistant and the Home Assistant Supervisor that can be reinstalled on any Home Assistant instance that you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Snapshot now. I'm gonna give it a name, which will be today's date. Then you have two options here to either keep the backup indefinitely on Google Drive or keep it indefinitely in Home Assistant. These will basically not, uh, ignore the rules that you have set up to keep a certain number of copies on your local Home Assistant instance or up in the cloud for Google Drive. This would be if you have a particular instance you wanna always be able to go back to. So I click Create Snapshot and it's going to use the built-in Home Assistant Snapshot function to take a backup of it. So you'll see here it shows up as pending, which means the Home Assistant instance is backing itself up. And then once that's completed, it will then start uploading it to the cloud. Now we're waiting for that, let's go through some of the Google Drive backup settings. So if we click the settings button here, we're able to adjust a few different built-in settings for our back automated backups. So what you can set here is how many snapshots you wanna keep in Home Assistant. So this is basically the maximum number it's gonna stay on your local instance. And then after that, it will be deleted. Then over here are the number of snapshots kept in Google Drive. So obviously you wanna keep this number higher than the one on the local instance. You might wanna look at how big your backups are and calculate the number, the amount of gigabytes you have in your Google Drive so you don't overrun yourself on space by keeping too many backups. And then mine's set to take a backup every seven days. Uh, this is nice, so I have a whole month's worth of backups to go to, so that way just in case I mess something up and don't realize it for a couple weeks, I can then roll back to an earlier instance even if it's in the cloud. And then you can customize the time of day to take the snapshot and you can set a password to protect the backup. These have already been set for me, so I'm gonna hit save. Um, some of the other options you have in here, so if you run into an issue where you cannot access your Google Drive backups, you can use this link here to go ahead and reauthorize it. There's also a function on here to open up the Google Drive to see your snapshots in the drive. And then you can synchronize to show the latest versions in the cloud in case you decided to delete one out of Google Drive and you want the it to show up on here. Now you'll notice on here in the interface, you'll see I have five current uh, snapshots, the one that's pending and the four previous ones. Now it'll tell you right here that if you have a snapshot that's getting ready to be removed from, you know, in this case, the Home Assistant instance, or in this case, the Google Drive storage area. So that way you can very easily see on the next snapshots. When the snapshot finishes and uploads, this one will be deleted off of my Home Assistant and this one will be deleted off my Google Drive. Then on each of the snapshots that you have a series of actions here, you can either delete it, which will take it out of both Google Drive and Home Assistant. You can download it, which will actually just download it into your browser so you can move it or open it if necessary. Restoring it will actually restore the snapshot into your live Home Assistant instance. And then Never Delete will let you lock the snapshot so it won't be removed, even if it exceeds the number of backups on your settings. So here in a minute, we'll come back and I'll show you how to restore a snapshot. If you wanna restore a backup that's on Home Assistant, then you'll need to hop over to the snapshot window and then restore it from there. If you have a backup that's in the Google Drive that you wanna restore, you will have to select this upload function, which will actually pull it from the cloud and upload it into your Home Assistant instance. Then it will be available over here under your supervisor, snapshots, and it'll show up in the snapshots here. So to restore a snapshot, you load it into Home Assistant, select the snapshot, and then you can select all of the individual components that you want to restore. So you can restore everything, or you can untick something. So if you think there's an issue with say Grafana, I can untick Grafana and then it will only restore everything but that item that I've unticked, which is great for troubleshooting an issue. So once you click restore everything, it takes about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how fast your system is. And then it'll restart back into that version of Home Assistant that you were running before. There you go. Now you know how to set up the Google Drive backup add-on, take a snapshot backup of your Home Assistant instance and upload it to the cloud, and also restore one from a previous backup. All right, there you go. That was just hopefully a quick video. Uh, I wanted to make sure to make this video and have it available because I do reference the using a backup numerous times. So I want to be able to give somebody a quick, here's how to go and back up your system and make sure it's backed up offsite. So if you want more uh, quick tip videos like this, please let me know in the comments below. As always, if you've enjoyed the content, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Uh, give the video a thumbs up. If you thought this video was too fast, then give it a thumbs down. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.